that's it. That's the intro. What is up guys, Better Something here. In today's video, I kind of want to talk to you guys about what we can expect from the factory expansion. Um, obviously, I believe it was, I think it was earlier this week. I don't remember when exactly when these were released, but I know it was very recent. Yeah, these were the 12th. So this was a few days ago. Um, we saw photos for factory. So this is the expansion of factory. For the most part, as we can see, it's all inside. But it looks like there is a entrance to labs here, or at least terror groups here. So that being said, oh, sorry. That being said, it does not appear that my hypothesis was correct. I thought we were going to have like more of an outside area to kind of, I guess, rotate and maneuver for the most part. But it looks like all this is going to be inside and it's just an expansion of the inside but we're getting a lot more verticality which is very cool at least in my eyes um and i feel like this is probably going to be like multiple warehouses and it does look like there is a crashed helicopter um we are also going to be getting a new boss so that's good news but this all this verticality is really <laughs> really really nice we are also getting a new boss and we did find out i want to say it was the 14th um from the kita himself he said that the boss is going to have like new um animations so those animations my my guess is this is going to be like an area an area of effect sledgehammer kind of hit kind of thing so like he'll slam the ground and you'll stagger so on so forth so i think that'll be pretty cool Another thing for me, at least, is that we're going to also get, um, we've also discovered that he has a Saiga, t a Saiga, right? A Saiga, Saiga. That's a shotgun with a drum, a uh, drum mag. So if it's AP-20 or like Flechette or, uh, you know, Buck or anything like that, like it's going to do insane amount of damage. Apparently, it's going to be the lowest spawn rate boss that we've ever seen. As well as the unique animations that we're going to get and the unique, I guess, um, debuffs that we'll probably get from him. So kind of excited about that. And then on the podcast, Nikita said something about the amount of players and I couldn't, um, I couldn't really gauge exactly what he meant. So from my understanding, my, my guess here is right now, I believe that there's five. Um, so with that, you don't have any extra people on the map if you have a full squad. So my guess here is we will probably, in the way that he says it, uh, I think it was, it was it Sigma? Is that her name? I forget her name. But she was on the podcast and she said something about like seven or eight players. And then he said, you know, one more uh, player. And I was, you know, I was kind of confused about, you know, that because I couldn't understand it completely. But my guess is it'll probably go from five players to uh, seven or nine players, seven to nine players. So that's just my guess, just based on how it was spoken. Obviously, we know Nikita's first language is not English, but we can kind of differentiate what he's going to say nine times out of ten. But this is something that I was a little confused on. and then. This boss is also going to be built more like Killa, so um, he's going to probably have heavy armor and uh, like level four, or sorry, level five, level six armor. If I had to take a guess, just because we um, kind of have a very small area and it wouldn't be very fun to go around and just psh, done, and that's the whole boss. Um, obviously, near end of the wipe, that's kind of where we're going to be, but. Hopefully, uh, the beginning of the wipe, it should be something that's interesting and should be something that's fun. Also, my guess here is, since we've seen, he's probably only going to have, like, level 6 vest. Because as we've seen so far, he doesn't have a helmet. But they've shown, and I'm going to see if I can find where it is, and I'll try and put it here. If I, if I find it, if I don't, then it's not here. Um, but he doesn't have a helmet. So, I would assume he probably just has a lot more health. So... That being said, this is all we know on Factory currently. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, subscribe.